Hi, I'm Michael Mintz, and today's Selenium Base tutorial is going to be on using Selenium Base in order to solve a popular app called Wordle, which looks something like this. Uh, for this, I'll be running some Python code that you see here. And without further ado, let's kick off the test, which should uh, launch the Wordle Solver app. So as you can see here, uh, Selenium Base is going to guess a random word at first and then start trying to deduce what the correct word is based on the hints that are provided. A yellow square means that a letter is in the wrong place, whereas a green square means that the letter is uh, in the exact place it should be. And as you can see here, Selenium Base solved this particular wordle in five tries. Since it's random each time, let's try it again with uh, another run. So here, Selenium Base is starting off with a new random word, and from that, it's going to try to deduce the correct wordle word for the today's puzzle. And that time it got pretty lucky and it got it in three tries, but let's do it again just to show you that maybe it's not always so lucky. Gonna run it again, pytest wordle test.py from the Selenium Base Examples folder. Alright, so uh, Selenium Base has entered a new random word and it's going to keep on entering words until it figures out what the correct word is. And based on the hints it gets with the yellow and green squares, it was able to figure out the final word point on its fourth try, which is pretty cool. So if you're wondering how exactly that works, Let's go over the Python code that makes it possible. So right here is test Wordle. And first I make sure that you're not running in headless mode and that your version of Selenium Base is 2.4.0 or newer, otherwise it won't work. Uh, then we open up the URL for the Wordle game. And then we click the close icon for a menu box that appears right when you first open it. Uh, then we set up the uh, selectors using the shadow selectors for interacting with Shadow DOM. And then we're going to create a loop because we get six tries to guess the correct word. Uh, we're going to select a word at random from the initialized list of words here. So that method here essentially uh, grabs the dictionary list of five-letter words that were already provided by the website. So that's going to throw everything into a list, and that will be uh, inside self.wordlist. Next, uh, once we've picked out the random word to start off, we're going to type it in to the first row and then we're going to click the enter button in order to see what the results are for that particular word. And from there, we're going to use self.getAttribute in order to get the letter evaluation that provides, where green is a letter in the exact location that it should be, yellow is a letter in the wrong spot, but it's still in the word somewhere, and the grayed out spot means that the letter isn't there at all in the word. And of course, if we have five correct letters, it means that we've successfully guessed the correct word. So uh, once we've uh, had some hints, we're going to throw uh, the word and the letter status into modify word list. And if we go over to that method, we'll see that we're, ha we're gonna have a few loops where first, based on the letters that are correct, weed out words that won't match the criteria, and do something similar for present letters and absent letters, 
And after all these loops have taken place, we finally have a new word list, which we set self.wordList2, and then we repeat the loop again, basically starting off with a random word from the list of words that are still available after weeding out bad words. And uh, this loop pretty much continues until you've guessed the correct word in hopefully six tries or less. So that is pretty much the entire script. Uh, it's less than 100 lines of code. And let's just run it uh, one more time for fun because it's after midnight here, which means that we should get a completely new word that I've never tested on before. So let's run pytest wordle test.py again and see how this next round goes. And here we go. I have no idea what the next word's going to be. Robot. Oh, wow. Guess that in three tries. Not bad. All right, let's run it again because three tries is pretty good, but the hints that it provides can make it easy to get it in a few tries if it gets a few lucky guesses in the beginning. So here we go one more time, pytest wordle test.py, and let's see what happens this time. And here we go, starting off with shine. None of the letters are there, so it's going to try something else. Oh, and it got robot on the fourth try. So as you can see here, the, algor the algorithm that is used in order to try to figure out the correct word is pretty good. And a simple Python script makes it all possible right here. So if you're wondering uh, how to see the script for yourself, uh, you can just go over to the Selenium Base Examples folder and that script will be right there. So let's go over to Selenium Base Wordle test and that code has already been checked in and you can check it out here. So that is the examples folder of Selenium Base and if you scroll down, you'll also see that there is a GIF that I, re that I recorded previously from the last word that was there. So this is pretty exciting to have web automation play games for people. Soon, all your lives will be automated. Just kidding. Anyway, thank you for enjoying this exciting Sunning Base tutorial, and there will be more to come. Thank you and have a good night.